Hey Mohammed, Daphne here. Uh, good to hear from you. Thank you for writing another essay. Hope you had a good holiday. Um, yeah, it's a good point, this one. Um, have a look on the website as well, because you will find lots of extra information on the website. And I've recently done a podcast on this. If you sign up to our podcasts, I think I did one on this a couple of weeks ago. Um, discuss both views and give your opinion. Uh, yes, you write your opinion in the first paragraph, but just gently, you know, I agree that, something or other. Um, in the paragraphs, when you get to the paragraphs, I would do your first paragraph agreeing, your second paragraph disagreeing, personally. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you can just agree all the way through, but in, if you agree all the way through, you must at least acknowledge the other side. So you could say, although you think something is a good idea, um, other people may disagree, or you know you have to acknowledge that there are two sides to the to the argument. Um, yes, they should be of equal length. Strength, I mean that doesn't really matter because obviously you agree more than the other, um, but they should be of equal length definitely. Um, I hope that clarifies. But check out the website because the podcast I did was quite detailed, um, and that might help you a bit more on that one. So the maps, um, I'm just going to move your answer. Hang on, let's. Move your answer down to underneath the picture, then we can look at both at the same time. Sorry, there were no instructions with that one. I hope that didn't confuse you too much. Um, so they demonstrate an island in two stages of development prior to construction and afterwards. Okay. The island dimension, yeah, which is maintained, yeah. Uh, which spelling was maintained. Uh, sparse trees could be seen throughout the island. In addition, the beach area exists on the left hand shore. Good, nice. Um, I would say prior to development, prior is like before. Um, sparse trees, good word. Yep, um, sparse, tr it's the, what they represent is a wood. So one tree represents a wood, but don't worry, you don't have to know that. Uh, okay, so paragraphs. So overall, Remember, we have to have that word overall. That's really important. And then you're getting into your next section. So three complex buildings were established near the center of the island, connected by a vehicle road to the newly installed pier, located in the central part of the downward coast. Now, geography. Give me some geography here. That's what we want. Okay. Um, located um, on the south eastern shoreline. So I'm really looking here for geography, which would be this, and passive verbs. So you've got that, were established. Now you said complex buildings. And we talk about a complex, like an office complex. We don't talk about a complex building unless you're using it for the word complicated. So I would use three, maybe uh, reception buildings, because the reception or shops, shopping buildings or something like that. Basically, it's such a tiny island <clears throat> that this is tourism. Um, and you have to make a guess and you have to say this is tourism. You know, it's got accommodation, it's got a pharmacy, it's got a probably a, a hotel reception, something like that. So make an intelligent guess. Uh, and that does help you. Um, to the right and left of this, trees were chopped down. Okay, we had two clusters of good small houses um, or accommodation units, you could say. Uh, the others to the right. So the others, you need to say others what? So the buildings uh, were built in a circular fashion around a footpath, while others had a traditional design to the left side of the map. Okay, you go on the west. Uh, but good to pick up that point. Well done. Artificial lake was made. So excellent work on the passives. Here, just mix up the vocabulary just to show. Get marks for vocab. Yeah. Uh, Ah, okay, so here's your overall. Almost no changes. Lines vegetation has been replaced. Okay, so have that one. In that case, you don't need that one. Because for me, those are exactly the same. So I, you don't want to repeat that. So let's just check your word count here. 132. And then if you had that as well. Yeah, you'd be, you need a little bit more, maybe. Um, so I keep keep that bit a bit. The size of the island, 
maybe take out that bit because I think it's a bit similar to what you've done in your overall thing. But you've got the idea. I'd, ideally, I'd do four paragraphs, which you've tried to do. Um, you could give a little bit more information about this one if you wanted to. If you put in the idea about tourism, some sort of speculation about it being for tourist development. Um, because of small houses um, or um, hotel rooms for tourism. Something like that. Get in a few extra lines like that. Yeah? And that will give you a few more words. But otherwise, very well done. I'm really looking for passives and geography technical words so that you've done that nicely there. Um, this is long. Be very quite careful on this. Uh, for me, sort of 360 should be your max. 360, 370. You're getting into 400 words. You're going to make more mistakes. That's the problem here. Uh, for anyone. I say that for everyone. Um, so nowadays, most green energy is becoming ever more prevalent. You've got to show what that means in both developed and developing countries. Some argue they reduce costs. Others believe they're a serious threat. Okay, discuss both views. So um, let's change this now. This is very much just a template. You've got to give me more than this now, Mohammed. You're getting to the end of the course. Um, give me something a bit more. Who would discuss this? Yeah, so um, environmental. Or environmentalists, something like that. Uh, as well as business. Uh, business men or business businesses have debated the utility of green energies. Good. Um, yes, a bit more than utility and validity of green energy because we're saying, oh yes, it's useful, but is it valid? Is it going to work? Some believe the efficiency and reliability of these sources are seemingly limited. Personally, I strongly disagree. Uh, this essay will argue that green energy is a promising economic and eco-friendly development. It's also for government Costa Rica. Okay, nice. Good. Now, please do some work on your spelling. Every time you see here, it's red. That is a spelling mistake. And you lose a lot of marks on IELTS on spelling. I'm really sorry about that, but you do. So if you've got these, do some homework. Write, check them. Do a spell check on all of them. Uh, write them in a notebook. Learn them every day. They're high-frequency words. So they're words which, especially responsible, government, eco-friendly, they're words which come up a lot and you must spell them correctly. Sorry. Uh, on one hand, there's ample evidence that renewable sources of energy could circumvent most of the problems associated with fossil fuel. Uh, I don't need this. F cut this now. It's too slow. It's great at the beginning, but now you don't need it. Uh, firstly, or this is because, they're naturally accessible and are replenished infinitely. The naturally accessible being uh, powered by the sun or wind, say it again. That's what we're talking about here. And are infinitely replenished to adverb verb. This means that they are not prone to price hikes. Well, they are actually. I, I disagree with you there. Um, so I'd go less prone to just because they're just because they're powered by the sun doesn't mean that there's not a business involved. Um, I, I I think you'd be challenged on that. I just think in correctness, you'd be challenged on that. But don't worry, I don't think IELTS are particularly worried about that. They're more worried about the language. So I would go, they are less. Or I would go, they may be. I'd be very tentative. Yeah? They may be less prone to. Uh, there are disputes over supply chains and things. So just be cautious here. Secondly, they do not typically emit greenhouse gases. This is very important, uh, which are greatly responsible for global warming. Climate. Yeah, very good. One prime example comes from Costa Rica, where shifting to GM um, results in 10% reduction in carbon dioxide emission. Um, stop there. Um, because that's long. That's lovely. It's good writing, but it's too long. You need to cut the length here. Uh, so good paragraph that. Well done. If you're making a big statement like this, do it in this tentative language. It may be less. Just suggest it rather than 
big statement. It's quite a skill in academic writing. On the other hand, opponents of green energy highlight the fact these sources often have a lower efficiency than conventional sources. Good point. In other words, they mostly require, they often require, so again, tentative language, they often require an enormous initial budget um, and energy storage. Compared to the stand, they may appear less reliable. That is very important and less secure, which could result in power cuts or shortages. That is the idea about security. Uh, you need to be able to spell that out. For instance, a recent report mentioned that while the average uh, produces, yep, good, lovely, really nice writing. I firmly believe the environmental, yep, is uh, significant. I love that word, but it's not really appropriate for academic writing. I'd use significant, which is a much stronger, more academic word. Uh, use that word. It's a great word, useful for task one as well sometimes. Even if even if they currently have some efficiency problems, they're still, again, nice word, but too wrong context. Don't use it here. Um, uh, I would... I tidy this up. Take that out. Um, significant with massive potential. Uh, uh, maybe not importance. Cautious on that word it doesn't always work in usage. Yeah, and prevalence. I mean, they use the word prevalent at the beginning, but you could use prevalence as a noun. That'd be quite cool at the end there. Really nice. Um, so I'm happy you've done well. This is the last one of our essays on the course. You've done really, really well on those. If you want to keep going before your exam, I'm going to offer you an extra correction pack at a great price. This is what a lot of our students do just to keep going. Um, you're doing really, really well in your writing. I'd love a bit more practice with you. Um, but in the meantime, please check out these spellings because that will hold you back on otherwise very good work. Uh, great.